Well, that's just about all from me. Jane and Ben will be here at the top of the hour with all the main news for you then. Now, though, Helen Willits has a weather update. Helen. Hi, Joanna. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Do you know that this day last year, the Met Office had a rare red warning out? It was really stormy. It's so quiet at the moment, the weather. We've got static cloud again across the country, but we're changing the script for tomorrow. This massive cloud behind me is a developing area of low pressure. Now, not only will it give our first significant rain for some time, but you can see the tightly packed isobars. It's going to be pretty windy as well. Nothing extreme, but nevertheless, after it has been so dry, it will be quite a shock to the system tomorrow. So make the most of that quiet weather this afternoon. There are a few showers around. It's quite grey, especially in central and eastern areas. Best chance of the sun in the north and indeed the west. A little bit more than yesterday, the clouds are a little thinner in places and it will continue to break up a little bit for the next few hours. But overnight, the wind strengthened, pulling in showers ahead of our main rain band. This is that intense rain band I'm talking about. So ahead of it, if there are still a few breaks in the cloud, we could get close to frost levels. And it's certainly cold enough, the air that is, that as the rain arrives in Dumfries and Galloway, it could turn to snow over the hills. So a pretty slick rush hour across Northern Ireland as it has been so dry recently with the heavy rain and the strong and gusty winds eventually making their way into the southwest of Scotland, northwest England. Pretty miserable across the South Wales area, the heads of the Valley Roads, the M4, for example, and also across the southwest of England with the wind and rain combined. More cloud as well further east, or thicker cloud, giving us some patchy rain. The rain ahead of it mostly light. This, as I say, is the main player about five to ten millimetres of rain on that weather system, but the showers following could be pretty potent as well with hail and thunder. Notice all the time, though, that Scotland, the north of Scotland, doesn't see much at all. Should be fine and dry here. And that low pressure tends to weaken as we go through Friday night into Saturday, which means that the shower intensity will ease and the number of showers will ease as well. So we'll still see some drizzle in northern and eastern areas and an awful lot of cloud on Saturday. But, do you know, if you want to get out and about, it looks pretty decent. Not bad for the rugby games taking place. Saturday night into Sunday stays fairly quiet. So if there are breaks in the cloud, fog and frost certainly on the cards. It is the middle of winter. And then through the course of Sunday, we start to see this weather system starting to make inroads in the west. But it's a slow process mostly Northern Ireland and the southwest, eventually Western Scotland. But for the bulk of the UK, again, another dry day. It's back almost to what we have at the moment. Fairly benign and quiet weather, although that weather system later on Sunday into Monday will be quite uh, heavy rain. So often cloudy, milder. But as I say, some very decent weather for some of us this weekend. I'll see you later.